If you like to use images in your content, we've added a simple but really convenient feature to the Thrive Content Builder plugin. Hi, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes, and this new feature we've added is an image zoom feature. Let me show you how it works. So if you open any piece of content with the Thrive Content Builder, as usual, you can drag an image element onto your canvas and you can add an image. Now, in some cases, the image you wanna show in your post is actually larger than the space you have in your content area. And especially if you're trying to illustrate something, that can be quite annoying because you know, everything ends up being squished together and too small to really understand. And the image zoom feature is our way of solving this problem. For demonstration purposes, I will just pick a large image from my image gallery and insert that into the post. And you might even want to resize that further, which is of course also possible. We can do something like this. And now you have the option to have a smaller image in your content, but also let users see a larger version of that image. And the way it works is I click on the image and I go to the event manager. This is where I can do things like trigger Thrive boxes or animations and things like that. And I can add a new event. I will want to select click as the trigger. So when someone clicks on the image and the new action that's now available, if you've selected an image is the zoom image. And then I can save that and close the event manager and I'll save my changes. If we preview this on the website, we have our content here on the image. And the first thing you'll see is that on hover, the cursor transforms into this little zoom icon. And then on click, it will simply open an overlay with the largest size of that image that fits this screen. So this will either show this image at its full size, or if the image is larger than the screen of the visitor who's on the page right now, it will just expand it to fill that screen. Like any light box, this can be closed with a close icon or by clicking next to it, and that takes you back to the normal content. Now, there's one important note about how this works. We load the full-sized image and shrink it in your post. That is the normal thing that happens in WordPress when you choose a large image, right? It will show a smaller version of that image to fit into your content area. That means that on page load, it will load the full large version of that image. It also means that once someone clicks on it, it will instantly show a large version of it. So there's no extra loading process for it loading the larger version of a file. So right there, we have the pros and cons of doing this. The downside is that we're loading the whole image. You have to download all that data and it can slow down the loading times. And the plus side is that once someone clicks on it, there's no extra loading time. The large version loads instantly. This is important to keep in mind because it's still, whenever possible, it's still recommended that you upload images at the correct size, at the size they're shown at. So if you wanna show an image at 400 pixels wide in your content, upload a 400 pixel wide version of that image because that will save on data, that will save on bandwidth compared to uploading a 4,000 pixel wide image and shrinking it down to 400 pixels. In general, that's still the thing you should do to make sure that your posts load as quickly as possible. But whenever you do have an image that you want to be shown at a larger size, this new event will help you do it. If you have any questions or thoughts to share, just leave a comment below. And if you like these frequent updates, help us spread the word by sharing this post. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Random behind the scenes question for today is, what movie ending made you say WTF? So the movie that comes to mind is The Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense, that's difficult for me to say, but you know the one. That twist ending is legendary and yeah, that definitely got me. That was a mind blown kind of moment that I absolutely loved. And so I am as disappointed as everyone else with the fact that, you know, the guy, the director of that, whose name I can't pronounce, has not made a good movie since, I believe. It's really sad.